What's what? Does anyone have a pet peeve about Illustrator? One thing they wish wasn't the case. Any former freehand users? <laughs> What's that? Very good, and that you use the right vocabulary too. How many artboards do you want? And they start off uh, all the same size, but we can readily change that in a moment, as you'll see. And so I can specify some spacing between them. And they still use the metaphor of an artboard, not page. They won't give in on that score. So, and if you have a whole bunch, you can decide how they flow, left to right, up, down, all in a row, what have you. And uh, notice this other item that was never there before. Lead. About bloody tongue. Ha, huh, sorry. That was a pun. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and let's see, I'll go, uh, nah, I'll save portrait for now. And five. And behold, three artboards. And notice they're whiter than the pasteboard out here, so you can kind of tell where they are. And to deal with these a little bit more, more readily, they've given us an artboard tool. And as soon as I choose it, say numbers, I can quickly tell. I can grab one. They also have smart guides. The smart guides have found their way here and show me dimensions. So that's a bit of consistency. Let's say this is really going to be letterhead. And so this might want to be uh, an envelope. Let's pretend that's a good size. Let's pretend I'm really being careful. If I wanted to be really careful, I would just come up here and enter the size exactly. So maybe that's my envelope. And maybe this one's going to be a, I don't know, funky business card size. That's funky. Not bad, right? So different sizes, and of course you can put them wherever you like. And rearrange them and do things with them. And there's more I'm going to show you with that that's going to be real handy. But I also want to show you, I want to combine some things here. I'm going to show you a new tool as well. And I did not bring my uh, Wacom stylus and tablet combination, but that's okay. I'm going to show you this tool anyway. This tool is called, are you ready? Can you see that? The Blob Brush. It's not a monster movie. So I'm going to use this to make the world's <coughs> most luscious and beautiful logo. Very artsy. Logo. <laughs> I did this last week and my logo then was really, really bad. So you get the much better logo. I know you're thinking, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. It was really bad. <laughs> no, I like that. <laughs> but let's say I want this logo also on my business card. But I am just too lazy to draw it again or copy it even. So I'm just going to take this artboard and drop it on top there. Maybe I'll have it off-center there. Oh, wait a minute. That should also be on the letterhead. On the envelope, pardon me. One piece of art. Three artboards, and the artboards are overlapping. They're sharing the content. So now, if I, I was about to use the word export, but we know an Illustrator, um, an Illustrator file and a PDF are nearly the same thing. So when I do a Save As, and I choose PDF, I'll put that on my desktop as well. There we go. View after saving. Acrobat 9 is launching. There's page 1. Oh, uh, yes, now page 1, page 2, page 3. So you can use this kind of strategically to have content blend across multiple pages. That is actually kind of sexy, you know? 